All right, what up, y'all? It's Nate, Nasty Nate Tansman, and welcome to the That Talk podcast. And today, I have a topic that um, I've been working on, not only myself, but uh, I've been thinking about for months on end. And I, I honestly believe that is the most detrimental thing and the most single most important thing to your self development, to your career, to your passions, and to your life anything you want to accomplish. This is the most important and it is the running story you have going on in your head about yourself. We all do this. We are constantly thinking. There is no time of the day that you're awake that you're not thinking. There is a thought going on in your head. How often do you get distracted with things at work because that thought runs into your head? To me, And from my experience, that thought is usually about myself. So what do I think about myself that day? What what am I telling myself that day? And these thoughts become your life. And why do I say that? Because your constant little mini running story about you in your head becomes your identity. And then when that becomes your identity, that's where your life is based from. Okay, so if... Let's just use an example of a job that you're unhappy with because we know so many people are working so many jobs they're unhappy with. Maybe you have a running story going on that says, I can't quit this job. Well, technically, you you can quit that job, but you're telling yourself you can't because of, I can't have a lapse in pay. Uh, This job pays me too well. Um, If I quit... Would there be another another job available in my field? Um, blah, you know this, that, and the other. Okay, you can leave that job. You can't because of the story. So we're already thinking constantly. So can we change the story? Can we change the narrative? And I talk about that, um, you know, basically in, in a few other episodes about. I think the last one was the victim mentality. That's a narrative. That's a story. Constantly running the story in your head. And and what's crazy about the story, like I said, it becomes the identity. So, you know, quick example for me, when I was first starting to ride, that was my life. And I was like, I'm a stunt rider. Like, and I did everything that lined up with being a stunt rider because that's what I told myself in my head all the time. So I was at the lot on the weekends. I was always putting in work, even during the week. I would stay up late. I would get up early. I would go to the lot before I go to work. I would go to the lot at 5 a.m. sometimes. Like I did all those things that, and this is also when I was talking about back before, and the only reason I'm connecting these is because I want to show you that this, like I said, this might be the most important detrimental thing to your life is the running story. So when I was talking about manifesting, right? So manifesting is matching your actions with your goals and what you're saying. I was matching everything that I was saying because that was the story in my head. If I'm going to be the best, I have to do this. If I'm going to be the best, I have to be there five days a week. If I'm going to be the best, I need to work out in order to be the best. I need to work on my vertical so I can jump higher and I can get over the bike so I can be the best. That was the running story in my head. And as soon as I got to the story that said, man, I put this bike in front of everything that I loved and now I have bad relationships. Now my girl left me. Now blah, 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 blah. Now I have no money, which, you know, money's not important to me, but you got to have it to survive. Now I got no money. I attached the missing things, the girl, which is very important to me, the money, which we have to have to survive. And I attached those to the bike. And then that story became, it was the bike's fault that these things were missing. So I put the bike away with, with literally no hesitation because the story changed. So can we do that? If we're already thinking, if, if there's already this running story about us in our head, your body will follow. The mind comes first and then the body follows. I'm telling you right now, I still struggle with my daily regimen and my routine all the time. I find myself 
when I get up on days where I don't feel like it and I tell myself I don't feel like it, guess what? I It doesn't happen. But when I get up in the morning and I tell myself you're a fucking animal, I get up. You're a fucking beast. You can do this. This ain't shit. I do it because that's the running story in my head. So this, this is all about narrative, self-talk, and creating, and I think this is, this is deeper than self-talk because self-talk can be, you know, I can do this, I can do that, but the running story or the narrative is a, a long, drawn-out, thoughtful um, sort of like affirmation, like, who am I? What do I want to be? What do I want to accomplish? Like, get that down. Because if you wake up every day telling yourself, I'm broke, I'm a piece of shit, blah, 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 your actions will follow that. I'm already broke. So buying this doesn't matter. I'm already a piece of shit. So cheating on my girl doesn't matter. I'm, I'm already a piece of shit. So taking something from someone doesn't matter. Like, I'm telling you, whatever you tell yourself, it almost becomes unconscious behavior to the body. And I talked about that in in, in a couple other episodes too about, you know, unconscious behavior, why we do what we do. And I firmly believe is because of this concept right here. And that's why I got so much energy behind this because it's kind of like a breakthrough. Like, what are you telling yourself? Who are you? What do you represent? What do you do? Like, this is just so important to get this solid story of of you and then repeat it. You have to do that. And like I said, I find myself when I'm in my zone and I'm lining up and I'm, I'm lining up with what I'm doing and I'm making these decisions and I'm telling myself this story, that's the good story that I want in my head. These decisions almost come as, as if they're so easy. Like, when I had the supermoto a couple of weeks ago, and for anybody that doesn't know what the supermoto is, it's a dirt bike with street tires, basically. And it's, you know, I love that bike, right? But I was like, okay, so I can be a stunt rider and I can still, you know, own a videography business. The second I was like, I'm a videographer. This is what I have to do to, to further my business is to buy a new camera. I let the supermoto go in one second. But if I would have kept that narrative going as I'm a stunt rider, I got to have this bike because my goal is to one day is to ride in movies and they're always riding dirt bikes in movies and, you know, this, that and the other, I would have kept it and I would have put the, put the camera on the back burner. So, you know, getting this story down and and what, what's going on in your head to build yourself up for the future makes these decisions so easy. Like, Every situation can have its story, whether it's good or bad. Like I said, you know, self-talk, positivity. If you tell yourself you're broke, that's what you're going to get. Manifestation. Like all, I, I just, I think that your identity and what you're telling yourself is the most major key to your life. So now, Nate, how, uh, where, where I'm at now, how do I change it? How do I improve it? Okay sit down and write something out. Okay. And I'm actually going to read the one that I have. And this is just, I've never read this to anybody. So this is just vulnerable, but this is what I read every single day. The mind is actually inherently negative. So to anyone out there that thinks like, I'm just negative and you know, there's nothing I can do to change it. Your mind wants to find what's wrong because that's what it's trained to do for survival. Back in caveman days or whatever kind of crap you believe in, we were meant to survive, okay? That's why women are, you know, most of the time nurturing. That is, that is what our bodies are primed to do, okay? Women are nurturing. They're here to have children. Men are to go out and hunt. And it's like... That's why that whole old school, when people call it old school, is like the guy goes out and works, comes home, brings the money back. The woman's the nurturer, stay at home mom, blah, blah, blah. That's like caveman stuff. But in a modern day with money instead of animals and food and all this kind of shit. But you're, you're, you're automatically going to be negative. 
It is, it, that's just what goes on. So how do we change that? We have to change it every day and we have to consistently work at it. It's your mind is a muscle, work it. So I wake up every day and I read this to myself. There's a lot of manifestation in here. There is stuff that I need to work on in here. There is things that I want to accomplish in here. This is just a running story that I have going on. Anytime I feel negative, and this is actually great, write this down. And anytime you feel negative, anytime you feel like you're disconnecting, anytime you feel like you're losing who you want to be, because let's face it right now, and I will tell you this, you're never going to be at your max potential. And and that's a weird um, concept to think about. I don't ever believe that we ever will reach our full potential because I think that it's limitless. So why not get started? Why not start now of changing the story to start getting to the point where you can start pursuing your potential? Because that's the whole point of life. The whole point of life is to pursue potential and you, and it's endless. So why not see what you can do? But so I wake up every day and I read this. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I'm a speaker, I'm a life coach, a relationship coach, content creator, and my biggest dream, a Nike athlete. I'm everything I want to be. I appreciate every day God wakes me up because it's an opportunity to grind, an opportunity to leave my name on everything I do and give it everything I have. I aim to inspire others, but most importantly, myself, my wife, and my son. I have the capability to change the perspective of millions of people with my words and my actions. The world needs to see the best version of me, mentally, physically, and emotionally, serving in every possible way. I have more than what I need. Now I can pour into others. There is no limit on my abilities. There is no cap on my potential. In this moment, I'm right where I'm supposed to be. If I believe in myself, invest in myself, and put in the work, I can accomplish anything I want to, because I already have. The man in the mirror is my hero and my only competition. It's already mine. I just have to take it. My friends, my family, and the world are counting on me. It's time. I'm the fucking future. So that is 100% vulnerability. If I can be the person that I used to be, the story that I used to tell myself that I'm just a dirt ball, scumbag, getting girls, manipulating people into doing the things that I want them to do. And I think it's a game and I think it's fun. And I can come up with something like that to write and to talk into myself. You can too. There's no excuse and there's no reason why everybody can't change the narrative and the story in their head because we're already thinking. So change your perspective a little bit. Like I talked about in the victim in the last episode, go check that out. Change your perspective on everything in your life. Just a little bit like, so say you're in a bad situation. Okay. Leaving and ending the sentence with where you are right now, because you have to be accountable and you have to be aware. It's okay to be where you're at. That's your starting point. So here's where I am right now. But as soon as you say, but you take control. As soon as that word comes out of your mouth, but you have fucking control of your life. So take it, change the fucking story that's in your head. You're already thinking instead of thinking negative, fucking flip it to a positive. And at the end of the sentence, add the word, but, and then keep going and then run with that. Change a fucking story. You want a better relationship? Change your story about your relationship. You want more money? Change your relationship and your story with money. I'm not good with money. How, how many people you hear say that? I'm not good with money. I can't save my money. You keep saying that. So no shit. That's why you don't save your fucking money. Because you keep saying that. I don't save my money. I'm not good with my money. And the crazy part is, is I think we, we say the shit that we know out loud. I don't know if it's because 
we want a fucking excuse for it or we it, it's it's there in our head and that's the story that's going on so we feel like we need to tell somebody i don't know what the fuck it is but i used to do that man i can't save my money i'm not good with money um my parents weren't good with money you know it's like I, nobody showed me it's like read, read a fucking book watch a youtube video stop making excuses there's no excuse not to be the best you and i have to tell myself every day because i will do that oh, i don't want to cook my food i don't want to cut this youtube video um recording the podcast in the garage it's getting cold. It's like, there's no fucking excuse for me not to be the best version of myself. And I firmly believe to be the best version of yourself. The number one thing you can do is change the constant story that's going on in your head. So try it. Try to change the story. I know we're inherently negative. So let's change it to a positive. Thank you guys for listening. And I will see you guys in the next one.